Morning guys. Um, we're going to start a new project. Well, I've already kind of started it, but it's a habitat build. I've never done one before, but my, uh, my brother um, asked me to do one. It's for a bear he shot uh, in northern Minnesota this spring. So he's having a taxidermy, then he has a game room, and uh, he wants a, a nice habitat built for it. So if you don't know what that is, it's like if you've been in Cabela's or uh, maybe a restaurant or some store where they have a uh, taxidermied animal and a display, that's what this will be. Um, he has some ideas on what he wants. He used some honey from his bees uh, to attract the deer or the, the bear. So he wants a beehive in a tree that the bear is stepping up to get and that kind of thing. So we've sourced some of that stuff, all of it from Minnesota and uh, we're going to start putting it together. Um, so I didn't bring you along for the base. I'll bring it a little closer so you can see. It's a generic base build. He, he kind of the design he wanted, he wanted corners cut like this so it wasn't square. And I did basically what you would do for a, if you're building a deck or a floor. These are just the furring strips as, as joists. I have uh, 5 8 plywood, I believe, is what's under there. Um, these are one buys for the edge. All this is going to be covered. You're not going to see any of this when this is all said and done. Again, it isn't going to hold that much weight. Um, it just needs to support what's there. and It's got to be light enough to be moved around. Um, it's going to be the focal point of, in his game room. And, and by game room, I don't mean pool and pinball. I mean... You know, taxidermy the animals. We have a tree. This is the base for the tree. We're going to attach this here. We're building rock out of this foam. And we're going to have a boulder built here that the bear is stepping on. So, and I'll kind of bring you along as each piece goes on as I do some of it. But that's the start. So I'll show you some of the stuff we sourced. Um, you know, just some some sticks with pine cones on them from trees with the lichen growing on it. Uh, you can see it growing there. We got some moss. We've got pine needles. This is all just sitting here getting dry. Pick a few mushrooms. These are from birch trees but doesn't matter they're mushrooms they are they preserve well in displays like this um, we got a beehive uh, I know this is not a honey beehive but it's gonna be pretty neat when it's done I think I think most people will get the idea all the stuff was sourced uh, from around the cabin we uh, we found this paper wasp hive and and harvested that this year. The everything's from up there, so including the red sand. Well, I had him send me pictures of what it looked like where he was hunting and there's a lot of iron in the ground. It was really red. So we went to, my son Will and I went to the Ironton area in Minnesota and sourced some red sand for the display. So that'll be nice and authentic looking, I hope. This is the tree he picked. Just, uh, that's a real wood post. And then I, you know, it's like a decorative it's not a Christmas tree necessarily, but it's a decorative pine tree. I think I've got it centered in there. It's 22 across, 11 that way. Alright. 
just going to use drywall screws. All right, guys, I'm going to start building the boulder, the rock, um, and I want to give credit to uh, where, where credit's due. This uh, rock stuff comes from uh, Habitat Rock. It's a company out of Montana. It's a taxidermy company. builds his own displays, and they developed this, um, this rock. So you can get them different sizes. This one's hollow, meant to be... This, this is what I thought we wanted, but I don't think that's big enough. So I ordered a sheet of um, slate rock. So that's it right there. And you just cut the pieces out and put them together to build your own display, however you want. Now these are solid. See the back is, they aren't hollow like the, one, the first one I showed you. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking them to the bandsaw and I'm cutting the edges off. And I'm going to piece these together in a way that I like. I'm going to use drywall screws and screw them right to the um, to the, the frame. But then also this styrofoam is, is sturdy enough that you can screw it to each other. So I can put drywall screws in here to, to build the rock any way I want. And then I'll show you how you patch all that in. But credit where credit's due. Habitat Rock out of Montana. I said when I first ordered it, I thought this, based on the dimensions, was going to be big enough. But it's just, it's just not. If it were a little bigger, I would be a little better off. So we're just going to build up. Start by just screwing it down. We're just going to start piecing some of these in here. so you won't see the holes from the screws either. If this isn't what you want, you literally, I mean, if it doesn't kind of fit the way you want it to, you just trim it off. Styrofoam to styrofoam here.
Okay guys, I'm going to show you how you fill these cracks. So we're just going to use one of these guns and we're going to come in and All right, so when that gets, it'll take a good 10 minutes or so, 15, but when that, it'll puff up and start to get a film and crust on it, and then you can kind of push that in and mold it. But then we'll come back with another layer of uh, filler to, to do even more. Sculpting, more detail. We just want to fill the big gaps. Okay, I don't think it's been 10 minutes yet, but it's already ready to be pushed in. I just got done cleaning the gun up, so we're just going to get that in there. So the next course can go on. That's the thing with rock. I mean, I've never worked with this before, but, you know, rocks are individual, so it can look like just about anything. There is no perfect, right? You know what I mean? All right. So we're going to let that set, and then I'll do the next layer and fill the next layer of fill in if that makes sense. I'll show you what that is. Okay guys, this is all set and hard, but I'm going to make the the paste that fills that now to blend in with the rock. And that is made out of insulation, cellulose insulation, and sheetrock joint compound. And you'll use equal parts joint compound to insulation and then mix it to a paste. Um, I got the 90 minute set. I think there's a 30 and a 45. Um, you can use whatever you wanted, but I got the 90 just to give me that extra time. All right, let's get going, mix it up.